Hello everybody, happy Friday. It is Friday once again. It is time for Facebook Friday. Let's make sure I'm in the right place. I don't see anybody jumping on. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Hopefully, all right, there we are. Yes, we are in the right place. All right, I double and triple checked my blog post today, so hopefully it is good to go. I don't know, you guys, I'm not seeing you. Are you there? What's happening? Okay, now I see people jumping on. Ooh, that was a little like, what's happening? I'm up by myself. Okay, there you guys are. Hi, Joan. Good to see you. Today we're playing with the Sweet Pea stamp set. Do you guys have this? It's so cute. I've seen a ton of projects um, with it. My favorite is the Grumpy Pea. Grump Pea. <laughs> He's so cute. We're going to make a card with him. And you guys, we have to like brainstorm um, reasons why we would send a card to somebody that says, sorry, you're grumpy. I don't know. Or hello, grumpy. Hello, grumpy. I don't know. I don't know if I'd want to get a card that says hello, grumpy, but I sure am going to make it because it's cute. So we got to brainstorm some reasons why we would send that card. Okay. So, um, Carla, I see you're here. Check my blog post. I like triple checked it today, so it should be good to go. Hopefully it's good to go. Um, let's just run through some things. I'm going to flip you guys around because I want to show you some new paper. But first, let me tell you about the all-star tutorial. And as I'm speaking this out loud, I'm thinking, I think I'm way behind sending this out to you guys. So if you've purchased with me, um, this month, I'm going to send you this for free. I'm going to do it today after the video. Uh, I can't remember the last time I sent it, so it may have been a while. So don't worry, I'll send it to everybody. Uh, you get this for free if you shop with me during August. It's uh, free with a $50 purchase or more. And um, it's also available in my PDF store. This month we're featuring the Mediterranean Blooms bundle suite, if you will. And my project is a little 3D box using that awesome label, that big giant label that's there, okay? So check that out. I'm gonna put that over here. So I don't forget. Um, you know, let's just turn you guys around. It's just easier for me to show you guys things like this. Um, one week left to register for the Market Goodness class to go. Remember, it has that recipe album, the recipe mini album. You'll have everything you need to make it. And look, my adhesive just is not doing the job. It's so sticky and muggy here. It's like, you know. Ugh, hot. Anyhow, this is the Market Goodness class to go. It features um, the Market Goodness bundle that you can see right there. And it has five beautiful cards and a uh, mini album, a recipe mini album. So if you're interested in that class, August 23rd, which is next Friday, is the deadline to sign up for this class to go. Um, they will ship, hopefully... Um, by August 30th. I ship them all together. Um, I cut them all at the same time, order it all at the same time. Um, and they, my goal is to have them in the mail to you the 30th. Um, you can get it with the bundle, without the bundle. You can also get a PDF only option. So if you just want the PDF and the video for the um, mini album, that is available. And that's an immediate download. It's available in my PDF store right now. Okay, so there's that. Let me move that out of the way. Um, Club Create for September features my very favorite thing from the upcoming holiday catalog, More Than Autumn. Um, you guys might have started to see some samples online using this cute little uh, fall themed. Well, no, it's not not just fall. It's Christmas. It's, you know, all the burr months, if you will. Um, then uh, September Club Creates Kit will have four cards and a hot cocoa treat holder. Uh, Club Creates $45 a month. It is a subscription, but you can cancel anytime. If you stay six months, you get $25 in product credit. And this month, I just packed up um, Club Create rewards for August and they were like 50. There's like a ton. So um, I really do give $25 product credit to you on your six months. So if you would like to join for this, uh, join us in, for this in September. The subscription window is open right now. There's a link at the top of my blog. It says Club Create. And there should be a link at the bottom of today's blog post. And uh, the PDF is available now also. I had to, um, it was a little bit of a delay, but it is available now in my PDF store. And it does include 
a video that's about 42 minutes long. It's pretty long this time. Um, so it has both the written instructions and the video instructions. Okay, so there's that. Um, the new holiday catalog, which I don't have. Okay, hold on. Let me grab it. It's all the way across the room. Hold, please. This uh, mini holiday catalog goes live next month, September, September, what? I can never remember and I can't read it. September 4th, um, which is, we still have a couple of weeks. If you've ordered with me in the last year, I'm ha I have one being mailed to you directly from Stamping Up, so it's coming. They go, you know, snail mail, super slow, media mail. So I haven't heard of any of my customers getting them yet. Um, they usually come towards the end of the month. So be on the lookout for that. But with every new catalog, I do a paper share. And this catalog is no exception. The paper from this catalog is so good. Um, I photographed all the paper last night. And I'm going to work on getting that sign up for a paper share um, early next week, hopefully. I usually offer six by six. 12 by 6 and 12 by 12 for those of you that want full sheets. But um, I thought I would just give you a little sneak peek of the paper if you haven't seen the catalog yet. Of course, this is my favorite holiday paper in the catalog. Super cutesy, bright colors. Um, I am a traditional Christmas color girl. Oh, Andrea, you got your catalog? Oh, some of you got yours already. Okay, good. Very good. I hadn't heard from anybody yet. That's great. Um, look at that. Hello. Can I just have a whole pack of that plaid paper, please? It's so cute. The little reindeers are adorable. Um, let me, I'm not going to go through every single piece, but I just want you guys to kind of get an idea for what's coming. This paper you may have seen because we had early access to this paper. Uh, demonstrators did, uh, ordering for something we had in, uh, June. So that's some winter bird paper. Let's see, then there's this whole like snow globe paper that's really cute. Um, I like those big ones. Okay, another plaid, penguins, holly, stripes, houses. This one's really pretty. You know, I'm not a gold um, person usually, but I know a lot of you are going to like this paper. It's very rich in um, color and it's got that gold foil in it. So you'll get a sample of that. Look at that. Wow. That one I do really like. Anything with red, I'm going to like. Okay, so there's that paper. And then there's this kind of vintage-y. I don't know the names of any of them yet. This little vintage-y reindeer. You know, it's funny. Last Christmas, there was a lot of decorations out with a little vintage reindeer. And I kept thinking, we need, we need paper or a stamp with that. We had it a long time ago. We need it again. And look, they heard me. I guess they're on to the trends, too. Um, that's really pretty, that tree paper. This one I really like. Um, let's see what else. Just real kind of vintage. I really like this piece, this whole piece. You know, if you cut that, um, you're not going to get the um, full effect, but that would make a beautiful scrapbook page, I think. And then there's a little vintage stocking, some stripes, candy stripes. And then um, this one is, oh, no, that's still that one. And then there's still, like some specialty paper. And I didn't pull out others, two six by six packs as well. There's like a fall, kind of like a watercolor scene um, paper, and then a pack of a six by six pack of just small Christmas pattern, which I really like. It comes, you can get it with a bow builder die, so to make gift bows, but um, I'm going to use the heck out of it with card making too. So, anyway, I just wanted to give you guys a little sneak peek of that. Uh, paper share coming next week. I'll have signups for that next week. I love paper too, Lori. I am a uh, paper addict for sure. For as long as I've been paper crafting, um, which is probably 25 plus years now, paper's always been my my product of choice. I go for the paper. I start always start with the paper. Okay. Um, if you haven't yet, go over to pinkbuckaroo.com. Today's PDF is there. Hopefully it's there. I checked it. It was there. The three things I just told you about are there. Um, the three projects we're going to do are here, supply list and measurements, and the host code, which is this right here. Um, if you like today's projects and you would like them as a kit, as a project kit, um, all you have to do is put in an online order 
um, between now and Monday at midnight, $35 or more will qualify you for the free project kit. When they come, they look like this. I make you a little thank you tag, but you have to do all the stamping for the projects yourself. Um, you'll have, you know, ribbon, um, circles, things will be scored, that kind of deal. Uh, but you do all the stamping and coloring, okay? Um, let's see, what else I, was I going to tell you about that? Um, I don't know. I'm just kind of, I'm kind of like, ugh. I just, I told y'all last week, I think it's because it's hot, it's muggy, the kids are sleeping in. I'm just kind of like unmotivated. And that's not usually like me. I think once school starts next week, maybe my brain will start firing again. They're not, Stacy. that's weird because I checked it. Did the, did the post go live? That's the question. Did the post go live? Let's see, because that could be a problem. Did not. Oh, why can I never get it to go live? Okay, hold on. I think I can fix it. Last week when I did this, I screwed the whole post up. So let's hope I don't do that this time. Okay, publish. Let's see. I don't have my laptop. I'm having to go over to my big computer. Okay, let's try it again. Last week, remember I had to go fix it and then it like erased everything that I did and reverted back to the old post. Oh, okay, now it's up. Thank you. Um, you know what I need? To, I need to stop scheduling it and just publish it early. That way I can check it. Okay, it should be there now. Thank you, Stacy. You'd think, after how many years have I been doing Facebook Live? I mean, like 10? You'd think I'd just get this right every week, but every week I just seem to not get it right. <laughs> oh, well, okay. Okay, so the second part of Facebook Friday is the prizes. And Jane Patterson, you are the winner. Thanks for sharing my video last week. Jane, I'm gonna send you the flower cart um, bundle as a thank you. Jane, please email me your mailing address. I feel like I have it, but Jane Patterson, there might be more than one Jane Patterson, so let's make sure it's you, and I wanna send this to the right person, okay? You guys would be surprised how many duplicates um, names I get, uh, or really, really close names. Um, and then I, of course, end up sending things to the wrong people. It's very common. And sometimes it's not a name you would think would be common, but it is. Okay. This week's prize is the iconic imagery bundle with the Facebook Friday kit that we did a couple of weeks ago to go with it. So if you'd like to win that, please share the video either on Facebook or YouTube and I will pick a winner next week. Now, you guys, I don't know what we're gonna do next week. My mojo is just super low. I just cannot get, I don't know, motivated. I have some projects using that flower cart bundle I just showed you. Would you guys like to do the flower cart bundle next week for projects? I'm thinking that might be what we do. I also was kind of thinking, I don't wanna do the holiday catalog yet. We gotta wait until that goes live. Plus it's August. Sharon, you'd like to see the flower cart bundle? I always feel like it has to be something new and that's not like super new, but I designed projects for it months ago and then never used it. So I feel like we should probably use them because they are pretty cute. Okay, yes, the flower cart. Okay, that's what we're gonna do. Okay, sweet peas. How many of you have a sweet pea stamp set? It's not a bundle. There's no dies that go with it. So get your paper snips re ready, ladies. You know you're gonna need your paper snips. Um, I actually stumbled on, Mary Alice, I did Rustic Crate um, Facebook Friday last year. I already did that one. That's a good one though too, isn't it? That's a good one. Um, I stumbled on a treat for the Sweet Peas stamp set. I was like, there's no, there's no treats for this. But then guess what? I found these. They're edamame beans, but come on, they can be peas, right? They're pretty close. <laughs> Edamame beans, they're healthy. There's a little healthy snack for you. Like the kale chips they made on the Today Show. <laughs> Who wants to eat kale chips? Not me. But I will tell you, my kids do like edamame. Um, I think it's cute, right? I think it's cute. So we're gonna make this little treat. The, this little box of sweet peas came from Amazon, of course, and I have it linked under today's um, blog post. This is... Um, Nydia, I'm seeing your um, your suggestion changing leaves. And you know what? That's a good suggestion. Hmm. 
Okay, I think we'll do flower cart next week because I already had the project and then maybe changing leaves the week after that because that is a really, really good bundle. That changing leaves is online exclusive. I hadn't even thought about that. We're using that for in color club this month and I just kind of forgot because I already used it, but you're right. It's a good one. Okay, anyway, back to edamame. Yeah, people like these edamame beans and look, it's high in protein. It's a super snack. So you can feel not guilty, right? It's not sugar or chocolate, it's a little healthy treat. And our little box is gonna open like this and like that. Now the paper I'm using is clearance rack paper. We used it last week and we're using it again today. So make sure you check out the clearance rack for the Dandy Designs Designer Series paper. All right, you're gonna need two full sheets for this box, uh, Granny Apple Green. Let me get my Simply Scored over here. And the first one, first piece, you need to cut to nine and a fourth by six and three fourths. This is gonna be the little tray on the inside. And you're gonna score it at, oh, no, did I just mess that up? One and two, no, it's one and two. Suddenly I'm like, that looks really big. One and two on all four sides, okay? Just turn, what in the world? I've got dimensional backings everywhere today. One and two, one and two, one and two, okay? So there, you got that. Then the other piece is a long piece. It's five and three-eighths by 10 and five-eighths. And we're gonna score it at two and three-fourths, three and seven-eighths, six and three-fourths, and seven and seven-eighths, okay? And this is the part, we're gonna sit the box down right here, and these will be like the little doors that go over it, okay? But let's make that little box first. You're going to want to grab your bone folder. And while I'm doing this, this kind of takes a few minutes. Why don't you guys tell me what's been going on? How's your week? What are you doing this weekend? Anything exciting? We're in the dog days of summer. The dog days of summer for sure. My oldest went back to college today for her senior year. Can't believe it. Time flies. Okay. We've made this kind of box before. It's gonna be a double walled box. So that means we're gonna fold over the cardstock twice to make that wall kind of thick. And when you do that, you need to cut out these three squares of, on each corner. And you kind of really have to think about what you're doing or you'll cut the wrong ones off. Believe me, I've done it many times. So cut those two and then cut this one. And when you're doing that, you're gonna cut this one like that, okay? So I always cut up like that, and then cut like that, and then cut this one off. Patricia, a farmer's market, that sounds really fun. We don't have, we, okay, I'm also gonna cut the corners off with my smaller scissors. We have farmer's markets around here, just not like in the vicinity. Like I'd have to drive probably a half hour to find a farmer's market. And it's too hot. I don't think the farmers will be out this weekend here. <laughs> oh, it's so hot. But I do love a farmer's market. What else, you guys? Caught two mice in a glue trap. Lisa, what? That's almost as bad as a scorpion. Well, no, not quite. I will tell you, last night I woke up. I was kind of tossing and turning last night. And I, the, I pulled the sheet up and it kind of like snapped up over my shoulder. And I felt it touch my shoulder. And I thought, oh my God, was that a scorpion? And I jumped up and was like checking the bed, making sure, you know, when you find a scorpion in your bed one time, you are then paranoid forever, forever. I mean, I'm sure if you find anything in your bed, you're gonna be paranoid. I, if I found a mouse, I would be paranoid. There was no, there was no scorpion. There was none. I know you guys, somebody asked last week an update on the scorpions. Angela, I think it was you and I wrote down what you, Put, I just saw your comment today about what you put around the outside of your house. I'm going to look that up. I really think it's a losing battle out here. Um, I don't know. Okay, I'm making sure all of my corners are cut. We just want to cut a little bit like that. Um, every night when I go out to water my plants and kind of sweep the pool, make sure it's all clean, I find a scorpion, a dead scorpion in the pool almost every night. So that tells me that I'm probably just gonna have to deal with it. And my adhesive is missing, of course. Hmm, okay. Am I just looking at it? I was just, I made a video this morning and it was right here. 
and it's not right here, you guys. Oh, here it is. Okay, it is right here. Okay, liquid glue is my adhesive of choice, right? But because we want to just get this done for the video, I'm going to use Stampin' Seal. The first thing we're going to do is take these little um, tabs and you're going to fold them in like this. Okay. And then we're going to fold these and you want to make sure that you're getting them square. Um, oh my gosh, Margo, the calendar class, you mean my calendar class? That'll be, yeah, that's. That'll come in um, December. And that class, that class is hard for me to come up with, I'll tell you. That is a hard class to plan. Okay, now take adhesive and just go around on these tabs and we're gonna fold them down, get your clothes pins. We don't have a calendar stamp set this year. We don't have one unless they come out with one like as an online exclusive. So I'm gonna have to really like put some thought into that. We have in the past bought calendars or printed calendars. You can buy um, calendars from Etsy that you know someone has designed and then you print them and then you make them cute with our stamps and stuff. We've done that before. All right, so there we go. There is your little tray, your little box, okay? So let's set that over here. I'm gonna turn the air down, it's kinda hot. Okay, now we've got this piece right here, and let's put our pattern paper on here. Um, I have cut four different pieces. This one is gonna go right here. The measurements are all on that PDF. Let me see if I can glance at it and tell you what these, they're five and a fourth by two and five eighths. Okay, we're just gonna put, now what you could do, you could put, a, like a square, I mean a rectangle of basic white, um, if you like to write a message. <laughs> but we all know how Erica feels about writing a long message. So I would maybe put a little square. But you can put that on the inside, okay? Okay, so there's that. And then we're gonna get our liquid glue. And we're gonna glue and you kind of want to be generous, right, with this. My middle daughter, who is a senior this year, this is her senior year, she's the captain of the tennis team, um, well, co-captain, I'll say co-captain, but she was, that's not new, that was last year too, but she wanted to have a little team party. Um, I Make sure your box is right in between those two score lines and it's not going over the edge, okay? And of course, that's why we have a pool, right? To have a place for the kids to hang out. When you have teenagers, if you they come to your house, you can supervise and at least for some amount of the time know what they're doing, right? So I agreed, of course. Well, then I forgot that I had told her she could have her friends, not our tennis team, but her friends over today for a little pool party. So guess what? We're having two pool parties. I can hear them right now arriving outside. And so that just is like a lot of teenagers over 48 hours at my house. <laughs> and she said, um, so what food do you want to get? I'm like, I am not, I'm, I'm, I will pay for some food for your little tennis party, but I'm not going to pay for food for two parties, friend. Tell your friends to bring, bring food and snacks. So we'll see when I'm done here, we'll see what's going on out there. Okay. <laughs> I know, you know, one party sounds fine. Two parties, two days in a row means one, I can't use the pool, you know, and that's like my favorite thing to just go float in the pool. And two, it's a lot of kids here at the house. <sighs> I know, someday I'll miss it, right? Isn't that what you guys say? You'll miss this, you'll miss this. I know, I know. I just like to complain. You guys, you just, I like to complain. You guys make me feel better. All right, take your, I'm going to use Granny Apple Green. That's the cardstock of our um, box that we made. And I'm going to start, these little peas are so funny. They have these big grins on their face. I'm going to um, use the light to just kind of color in their faces. And I didn't know what to do with their grin, but I'm just going to leave it white. Because I guess the little peas, do they have teeth? Do the peas have teeth? 
<laughs> I don't know. But we're just leave it white. And then I'm gonna take my dark and just kind of go under wherever there would be a shadow, right? And this little top part up here. Now, if you guys need to see um, like close up coloring, you need some help coloring, I have um, clean recordings of all three of today's projects. Clean recording just means I pre-recorded it and I edited it and it's like zoomed in and you can see it better. And those are on YouTube if you wanna see those, okay? Can you guys hear Pepper? She's barking her head off. Okay, light summer splash. Um, this paper came out before summer splash was a color, but it's pretty close to whatever. I guess it's pool party and, Calip and um, coastal cabana. But uh, we're gonna use our summer uh, summer splash. Now on the inside we have this little uh, circle from Spotlight in Nature, and we have this little single pea if you will, this little P who's by himself and he has a party hat. We're going to stack him. We're going to make two of them. So I'm going to, um, mask off. I'm going to mask off that party hat like that with some post-it tape and then ink it, take off the tape and we'll stamp that one right there. And then we'll ink the whole thing. And let's see if I can get it lined up and then just stack, stamp him like that. So, they're like stacked, a stack of peas. All right, and then again, we're just gonna color with light granny apple green, and we'll add some shadow at the top. Now, I saw last week, many of you said your kids were back in school or were getting ready to start. We're going back on Monday. Ellie, college doesn't start until the following Monday, but of course she wants to be up there with her friends as they come into town, you know, in their apartment, and do all the things the college kids do. But I don't know. I'm ready for routine. I'm always ready. I love. I like summer. It's okay, but I. But I'm just a creature of habit. Do you guys like a routine? Oh, you like watching Facebook Live, Sharon. Thank you. It's like stamping with a friend. I feel the same way. I know. I feel the exact same way. All right, summer splash for the little hat. Okay, now fussy cutting these. We're going to not fussy cut that little stack because we did that on that circle. But this guy, we are going to fussy cut. And if you'll notice, let me get this thing. It's like twisted. Hold on. You'll notice there is this, these little curly things right here. I'm cutting those off because that's just too hard to cut, all right? And no one will miss them. So just take your paper snips and go along the edge. Just stay right on the outside of your black line. Cut that cardstock off as you go. Let's see, is this the only fussy cutting? I think this is the, yeah, this is the only fussy cutting we're doing. Just this. Round and around and around and a snip. And then this, you just kind of have to get in there like that, okay? Is it perfect? No. Does it have to be perfect? No, it does not. Don't be too hard on yourself. It does not have to be perfect. Okay, so I have cut a, um, this is the Greetings of the Season. I'm looking for my ink pad. Greeting of the Seasons dies, online exclusive. And we're just gonna take the little like vine and stamp it around the edge like that. Little curly cues there, a couple of curly cues there. And then, we're gonna layer it all on with, of course, our dimensionals. So I here is that same paper. I used four, four different patterns. It's that same paper. And we're gonna use this side. And I'm gonna take this. This is a postage rectangle, or a perennial postage rectangle that I cut that with. And we're just gonna layer that. That's gonna kind of give us, um, help our little peas pop off there. 
so that they don't um, blend in with all the other stuff that we put in there. And then I did this ahead of time. I stamped the sentiment in Versamark, heat embossed it in white with white embossing powder on a Granny Apple Green Nested Essential banner. And I'm just gonna tuck that back there behind coming out like that. Okay, let's put it all together. Get your little box. And you know, I did see these edamame beans at my local grocery store later after I had ordered them. I had never seen them before, but I noticed them, I think because I had ordered them. But I don't think I would have noticed them had I not seen them. Okay, I don't need this dimensional, but what I do need is some ribbon. You know, I need to kind of burnish these so that they will stay closed. Let's try to get that nice and crisp. Okay, so that goes up there. And then this, this is a Summer Splash ribbon. It doesn't want to stay together today, but I promise you, it will. It just likes to embarrass me, these projects. They like to embarrass me when I'm live. They're like, oh, she wants us to do this? Then we are not gonna do that. They're kinda like kids. Okay, there we go. Stay together, mister. It really should just lay down like that. See, just boop like that. <laughs> I don't know why these other two stayed closed. This one doesn't want to. Stay closed. Maybe we need a little magnet on it. We're gonna use a magnet for our last, no, for our next project. Um, last but not least, get yourself some white twine if you have any near you, which I don't seem to have any near me. So we'll just use linen thread. Who knows, probably rolled off onto the floor. These um, greetings of the season dies are tags. So they, when you cut them, they have a hole already there for you. So you don't have to punch a hole. All right, tie that like that. And around we go and tying it to the bow and, you know, little box. Do what you're told. There we go. <laughs> let's, let's just sandwich them together there like that. All right. There we go. <laughs> okay, what do you guys think? That's pretty cute, right? The colors were perfect. When I saw the uh, edamame peas, the little turquoisey blue looked just similar to some of our turquoisey blue projects. I mean, uh, colors. And so I thought it would be perfect. Okay, so there's our first project. I don't know. Happy birthday. We all had that friend, right? That healthy friend that would rather have edamame than... Rhesus. I'm not that friend. I want Rhesus. But <laughs> we all have that friend, don't we? Okay, next up, my friend Angela McKay. You guys know Angela. She's from Canada. She did several sweet pea projects where she used this gingham paper from the Lily Pond Lane. You know, the ducks, the pattern paper with the ducks. And I was like, OMG, I'm totally copying that. That's so cute. So we're going to make a little card using the, the that gingham. And it's actually, let me show you the other one. It's actually a gift card holder. It opens like this. And there's a gift card uh, pocket. And I was thinking this would be a good, like, for a baby, for a baby gift card. Okay? So this is pretty easy. You're going to need your... Granny Apple Green card base. I'm using the large circle from Round We Go, and we're gonna stamp that circle. I love just a good solid circle to make polka dots. Doesn't it look cute with a gingham? Well, I have to give Ange credit because she was the first one I saw that did the, the green with the pink gingham, and I was like, oh my gosh. I could not wait to copy. Now, my card's not like hers, I and mean, she made three different cards but she definitely gave me the idea to use the gingham. All right, so just go through here and you really only need to do the uh, outside edge, okay, like that. And 
Oh, my nose is like reacting to something. And then we're gonna get, uh, this is just a mini card. It's three by four and a fourth, so it was six inches, you fold it in half. And you're gonna get your gingham paper. And this gingham paper is two and seven eighths by four and an eighth. And when you cut, this paper comes six by six. So when you cut that off, this is what you have left, this little piece. And so it's perfect for the pocket. So just put some adhesive along two short sides and one long side. And we're just gonna put that right there, okay? And then we will put our adhesive right there and we're gonna just put this down in the middle like that. Okay, so there we've got that. Now let's do our cute little peas. These little peas are sitting in a pea pod together because they're super cute. I don't know if they're babies. They look like babies to me. I mean, I guess it could be like a wedding card. <laughs> I don't know. But to me, they look like little babies. So we're just gonna make it a baby card. Um, again, light granny apple green. All of my Stampin' Blend suddenly, like I've reached the end of life for all, for all of my most used colored colors all at the same time. Last week it was pecan pie and now it's granny apple green. They, you know, they only last so long and then you gotta replace them. They are, they, well, some people say they're refillable. I don't think so. I think it's just better to buy new ones because your little, your little tips need by the time i've used them up my tips are like they've been used and abused and i need new ones all right so i'm just going to add some shadow like that take that light and then you just blend it out now if your light is running dry like mine it's not going to blend so well um i'm going to use the light to add shadow to these guys because i don't want it to be terribly dark i'm just going to do it like that okay then I'm gonna use a Pretty in Pink marker. Now they look like they're just floating around in space and we don't want that. So let's ground them with a little smoky slate line, a little shadow, okay? And there they are. Are they not so cute? The artist who drew this is just really cute, really cute um, style. All right, this is the, uh, this stem is from the Friends for Life dies. Uh, and we're gonna cut it like this. And because we want it to stick out more, it'll stick out, but not a whole lot from the rectangle. So I wanted to make it kind of look like it was a little bit longer. So I'm sticking it on with those dimensionals and then putting that over it like that. Now this is Flirty Flamingo twine. I know the paper is pretty and pink, but when you have just a little twine bow, it looks to me totally fine. I'm not worried that it's not exactly the same color. If it bothers you, then you could just do white twine if you wanted, or you could even use the pretty and pink ribbon. I haven't used this twine very much at all and I love it. I just, it's never the colors that I'm using. All right, put that right there. On the inside, I have cut a um, label from the Unbounded Love dies. And I think I stamped it originally in Pretty in Pink, but I don't have that ink pad here. So we'll just go with Granny Apple Green Dimensional. And, um, I should have used these little magnets on our first project, I guess, <laughs> but we're gonna use it here. And um, I have them linked today. They're these little button magnets. I use them all the time and they're so great. Put a glue dot. They're really inexpensive too and they're really strong. Normally I say put two glue dots on each side, but I think with this little card, you don't necessarily need to do that. And so you put it there, close that and then there you go, it'll hold it closed. Could you have a gift card in there? 
probably want to just make sure it's kind of a little more secure. Um, and then a little white piece um, for inside. And I was thinking you could stamp your peas or you could just, you know, carry over some of the little polka dots like that. And inside it goes. And that's it. Now, if you were going to do, if this is for a baby boy, you, I mean, I don't know. You might want to change the pink, but I think it would be okay too. Maybe not because that looks like a little boy pee and a little girl pee. It's really cute. All right, there you go. And you know what? My daughter's um, tennis coach just had a baby and I needed a baby card last week. I wish I had made this earlier because that would have been really cute. Although she did have a boy, so maybe I would have had to change it. Easy peasy, you guys. Get it? Easy peasy. I just made that up. <laughs> okay, one more, one more. And this time, we're going to watercolor. We haven't watercolored in a while. So, oh, I forgot. Hold on. I forgot the embellishments. Hold on, hold on. We have these little in color gems. The shimmer dots, they're so pretty. Let's use them. There we go. Okay, there we go. Now we're done. All right, there we go. Cutie patooties. All right. We're just moving quite along. You know, it's so funny because I felt like I needed to hurry today because that first project when I recorded it yesterday took a really long time. It took like 20 minutes. And we're going to be done early today. I don't know how that happened. I don't know. I've got a stack of bonus cards to show you today, so make sure you hang on. All right, this next card is our little grumpy guy. Look at him, hello grumpy. Now let's let's brainstorm. Uh, I like it, Stacey, quite appealing, so cute. Um, I love the sentiment, hello grumpy, but why would you send this to somebody? Can you guys think of a, of a reason? I don't know. Grumpy teens, yeah, I don't know, Michelle. My my teenagers would probably be ticked off if I sent that to them because I did think of that. Or maybe someone just had a bad day and you're like trying to cheer them up. I don't know. I don't know. It's pretty funny though. Look at him. He's super mad. He's got a little grumpy face. Okay, so he's really the star, but what I'm going to show you is how to make these watercolor leaves. I saw a card online where she had done kind of a rainbow like this of little like flowers and it made me think what if we did that with leaves um behind our little pea um birthday card for someone not happy donna that's a great idea birthday part yes birthday card for someone getting old lisa over the hill that's a great idea that is a really good idea hi mom some people are grumpy and proud of it yes mom you know who i was thinking of dad dad would have loved this <laughs> he was grumpy and he was proud of it when he when he was grumpy he and i have that in common i get kind of grumpy too i do okay you're gonna need your autumn leaves this is different from that bundle we uh talked about uh, just at the beginning the changing leaves this one is the autumn leaves. And it actually, you have two each of these small ones in the set. So that's what I'm gonna use. If you don't have those, really you could use any leaves that you have, like any stems, I think anything would work uh, for this kind of concept. Um, you're gonna need a full piece of watercolor paper. Okay, and I'm gonna use three different greens. I'm gonna use that granny apple green I'm going to use um, shaded spruce, which I had a bunch of that left over, so I just left it on my clear block. I didn't want to waste it. Um, and then we're going to use um, shy shamrock, which is our in color, one of our in colors. And I'm using my um, um, clear blocks, kind of like a little palette, right, just to get that on there. You can squeeze your ink pad together so that it's on the inside of your ink pad but i'm using a lot of water for this and i didn't want to get a lot of water inside my um, ink pad so that's why i'm doing it this way okay so get your water painter and first i just like to get my paper nice and wet it's going to help the colors kind of bleed and run so just prime it and then and just Remember though, the, the more wet that you get it, the wetter you get it, the longer it's gonna take to dry, which is okay. I have um, 
Well, I did. Oh yeah, I have it over there. I have one that's already ready. All right, I'm gonna start with Granny Apple Green and see how when you just drop that color on there, it just kind of spreads. And you want dark and light, so kind of overlap. And then get pick up the other colors and just kind of set them on there. And you want them to run together, so add some water. The more water you get on your piece, when it dries, it gives you more texture, it gives you those kind of like water edge rings, which I like. All right, and then we'll do Shy Shamrock over here. My paper's already drying. This is kind of a less intense color. And what I did originally is I did this and then I let it dry. And then I did it again, right on top. So I had kind of a more intense, stronger color for all three of them, right? And then you could just kind of pick it up and create even different greens there. Just go to town. There's no right or wrong way here. All right, and then last but not least, you guys know I love to add salt to my watercolor. So this is kosher salt. I do this every time. I can hardly ever do watercolor without adding salt to it because I love the texture that it adds. And you want to make sure it's wet. It's still pretty wet when you add it. Otherwise, it's not going to do anything. Okay, so there you go. There is your, your leaves piece, the piece that we're going to cut the leaves from, okay? Let me get this all out of here so we don't make a huge mess. All right, so then set it aside. I use so much water, I would give it like half an hour probably to give it some time. If it's sunny outside, you can go set it in the sun and it'll dry faster. But I did this one yesterday and can you guys see the texture? These little lines right here is what I'm talking about when the water dries, it leaves kind of like a little edge over here. And then the little, these still has a little bit of salt on it. These little like speckles are, um, from the salt. And another thing you can do, if you wanna add even more, is get your Stampin' Blend and just flick on some color. I mean, we're just trying to create, you know, some funky, all different greens with texture on them. And then you're gonna take your leaves and you're gonna run it through and get as many leaves as you can. Okay, now I've done this ahead of time Again, because I thought it would take way too long for us to do it here. So run it through. I got about two and a half sets of leaves. And I actually have two sets of dyes, so I have more leaves than, um, than just one set. Okay, so then you have that, and here are our leaves, right? And I just have a whole bunch of different, see, look, they're just all very different, which is really fun, okay? Okay, so once you have that, then get a piece of basic white, and this piece measures one and an eighth by five and a half, and I think it could probably be even skinnier. Uh, what I'll tell you is what I made this, I'm looking for my piece of as I'm talking to you, oh, it's right here. As I made this, the card design evolved, and I originally had the leaves like this, and I had that hard edge there, and I didn't like that. So what I did instead is have the leaves hanging over the edge. I wanted to wrap ribbon around it, so that's why I did not um, just do it on the edge of the card, okay? Which I guess you could do. But get your leaves and just kind of start layering them different you know try to have different colors and different shapes as you go down i really like this one that um granny apple green is very yellow it has a lot of yellow in it and then we're going to need to start kind of using some liquid glue as we go on top that one has a white end probably need to trim that and i like to get the little ones and just put those on there. Let's see if we can find some more little ones. The more, the better, I think. You just want it really full of leaves. Addie Serwin, I see you. 
I have many cactus green colors. Addie wants a car. She wants a little Bronco that is, well, I like the cactus green color. That's why she's asking me that. They, they have the, you know, the little, the little, it's not really turquoise, but it's kind of like a blue, green, gray. Have you guys seen those? They call it cactus gray. She likes to come troll me. What else have you said, Addie? Have you commented on my nails? Um, <laughs> I love a sort of cactus green. I'm sure you do, Addison. Addison Elizabeth. Okay, once you get your, um, I have my mother and my daughter on here today. I mean, might as well have my husband join too to make it a family affair. <laughs> okay, so now when you have that done, get a piece of a pattern paper. This I'm using um, another Granny Apple Green, but you could use, you know, our paper stacks have pattern paper for all the colors. And then you're just gonna set that kind of on top like that, squish them all in like that okay and then scissors thanks michelle for sharing i appreciate it trim off the edge oh we're gonna have a critique when this is over thanks mom i cannot wait my favorite thing is to be critiqued by my mother and my daughter doesn't that sound fun you guys doesn't that sound fun Okay, now take on the on the outside edge. I know you're kidding. It's pretty funny, Mom. Um, run some. Um, I'm so distracted. Run some uh, tear and tape along there, and I have it um, longer than it needs to be because I'm going to wrap it around the bottom and the top like that. Your hands do get pretty messy when you watercolor like this, and then take your ribbon and this is the white diagonal ribbon that um, comes in a pack two pack with the petal pink I believe is the other color all right so snip that like that now I don't like this right here so we're just gonna let's just trim it make it like rounded there we go all right and then you know I kind of like pulled mine out so they would be a little I mean, obviously, if they're going to go in an envelope, they're going to get kind of flattened. But let's make them stand up and look a little fuller. Isn't that fun? You could do fall colors this way, too. I mean, maybe a different stamp set, but that would be cute. Okay. White card base. Thick white. And we're going to add a good amount of adhesive right here on this edge. And then we're gonna take this, and you don't want your leaves to hang off the edge of the card. So you gotta go in far enough, otherwise it won't fit in your envelope, okay? Oh, there's something I forgot to do. Let me get this. Let's cover this part up. We're gonna do some splatter. You know I'm gonna do splatter, guys, you know it. So get your blend and just kind of splatter some ink over here on that side, like that. Okay, now let's get to our grumpy P. Our grump P. P. This is really easy. He's very easy to cut. I mean, to color and no cutting. There he is, memento black. Get your light granny apple green. He's so mad. Maybe I should give Addie this card because she gets grumpy. She's a grumpy teenager. All right, and I'm going to just add kind of some shadow, some darker up here. Like, you know, he's mad. The top of his head is going to be darker. So some steam coming out. Okay, last but not least, the sentiment is long like this, but we need, it, we need it to fit. So I'm going to stamp it twice, and I'm going to ink it on the edge like this so I can see just, I just inked the hello. We're going to stamp that. You can also mask this off with your... Masking tape, post-it tape, whatever you have. All right, clean it, make sure it's nice and dry, and then do the same thing with the other side of the stamp. Grump P, and we're gonna stamp that right underneath, like that. Okay? Okay, why do I have two memento blacks here? And then, 
couple of dimensionals. These are the dimensionals from my last paper pumpkin kit. And I like them, they're kind of thicker. They're a little foamier than our other dimensionals. All right, and then I'm gonna put him right there, little grumpy guy, and we're gonna add a bow. Like that. Snip, snip, mini glue dot. And we'll put that right there. And I did bring over just some little, <coughs> oh, excuse me. Hold on. Got a tickle in my throat. Okay, and then just some of these little faceted gems. I don't know if I put these on the supply list. I feel like I didn't. I did not. These are just those little iridescent, they look kind of purple in the catalog. They're really kind of cool though. Let's see, oh, they're called iridescent faceted gems. And there you go, little grumpy guy. So cute. What do you guys think? Uh, I mean, you'd have to have the right person to send this card to. Couldn't send it to just anybody and call them grumpy. But I think you could probably, I like the over the hill idea for somebody who's like mad that their birthday is, you know, they're getting older or whatever. That's kind of a fun idea. Okay, now I told you guys I had bonus cards, so let me show you. Let me get these. These will be, some of these will be on my blog on Monday and Tuesday. Um, these two feature the little cute babies and um, two different colors, like a more of a green blue, this is Pool Party, and then um, um, Balmy Blue. I don't know which one I like better. I, I don't know, I can't choose. I'll let you decide. You can, I'll have them on my blog next week so you can see. And then this one, I've seen a lot of people doing this, stamping the little face on the little um, splotches of the designer series paper. And look, there's that little guy again too. Really cute. That one will be next week too. And then I got a bunch in um, a swap that I did. So let me show you. This is from Ann Margaret. She's in my downline. So cute. And then here's Hello Grumpy. <laughs> so cute. She used a different green. This is old, looks like old olive and uh, lemon lime twist. This is, oh no, this is Nathan. He's on my team also. He's an awesome stamper too. This one I like, this is for, oh, this is Ann Margaret too. Um, I like the more neutral color background and look, she used that stamp too. Very cute. And then look, I didn't use that stamp, but isn't that cute? Welcome sweet pea, like a little swaddled pea. Very cute, very easy, just a little tag on a white card base. That's from Amy, and this is from Marsha. Very cute, I like those strips. And the color scheme here is really cute too. Granny Apple, Peach Pie, and I think that is Flirty Flamingo. Very cute. Okay, you guys, that's it. And look, it's right at three o'clock. Let's look, if you would like these projects, remember as a make and take kit or a spend and send kit as we called it, I will be happy to do that as a thank you. Um, any order over $35 qualifies. Make sure you use the um, host code so I know that you want them. But Gail, I can't believe you don't have the stamp set. It's so cute. It's the cutest. I love it. Thanks guys for joining me. Um, next week I think we will do flower cart and then maybe we'll do um, changing leaves the following week. We'll be getting excited for fall because it'll be the end of August, right? Even though it's probably two months away still for us, but we can pretend. You guys have a wonderful weekend, and I will see you next Friday. Thanks for joining me. Bye, guys.